I wanted to talk briefly about this new um, feature in the fish shell that just came out a few days ago um, using the fish config command because I think it's pretty cool and uh, just kind of shows how fish can be a really friendly yet customizable shell without l causing you to go into the weeds and really have to learn about a lot of the nuances of, of how a command line interface works and a shell, and et cetera. Um, so here I am in uh, my fish shell, and you can see this is a custom prompt that I've made that has like a lot of components in it. Um, but there's this uh, fish config command um, that fish has that lets you like build your own command. Um, but what's really cool now is it has this way where you can choose from a pre-configured list and it gives you little demos of all of them. Um, so I can list them out. Oh, it's got a, you go prompt list and it shows you them all. But if you go prompt show, uh, it gives you demos of all the different prompts. So you can see how they all work. And I'm in a Git repo here. So you're actually seeing how it would look in um, a Git repo, most of them tell you that um, info. You can see this this Pythonisto one is like very close to what I actually use, which I, th I found was interesting. Um, and then a lot of them, they have like a prompt on the right hand side too. So if I go to prompt choose, and this is how you would choose one of them, you can choose that scales one, for instance. You can see over on the right hand side, it says the. Uh, it says the branch that I'm in, or um, like if we choose uh, Disco, for instance, um, over on the left-hand side, it shows uh, the um, the branch and then uh, a time. I'm not sure what that question mark re represents. Maybe it's because it's like a, a, a Git repo with modified working directory files. But anyways, fish config prompt. Pretty cool, gives you so many different choices and you don't have to learn how to build these prompts yourself. You can just pick one by name using this simple command. So really neat feature that Fish Shell just came out with. So if you downloaded like the most recent version of it, this would be included. If you already have Fish Shell, you might need to upgrade to be able to use this. Really cool.